Link lists are like a chain of connected nodes where each node holds data and a pointer to the next node. It starts with the head which points to the first node, then each subsequent node points to the next node, and finally the tail which points to null, marking the end of our linked list. In JavaScript we often represent list nodes like this. Each node has a value property which holds the data and also a next property that points to the next node. Let's understand the two main types, singly and doubly linked lists. In a singly linked list, each node points to the next one, it's simple and memory efficient, but you can only traverse it in one direction. On the other hand, a doubly linked list not only points to the next node, but also to the previous node. It offers bi-directional traversal, but consumes more memory because of the second pointer. In your code you'd define them like this. As you can see the only difference is the additional previous pointer on the doubly linked list and each type has its advantages and choosing the right one depends on your specific use case. Let's see the key operations that linked lists support and their big O time complexities. First one is insertion, which is adding a node to the list. It can be at the beginning or the end of the list or somewhere in the middle. Next one is deletion, which is removing a node from the list by its index. And we also have traversal and searching, which is visiting each node or finding a specific node. The time complexity for insertion at the beginning is O1. Inserting at the beginning is usually called prepend. We just need to update the head with our new node and set the pointer of it to the previous head. Inserting at the end is called append. Here we check if the head is null, which means that our list is empty, and we set both hand and tail to the new node. Otherwise, we append the new node to our tail and update the tail to be the new node. So it's again O of one time complexity if we have the tail reference. But inserting in the middle is O of n because we need to traverse to the desired position to insert the new node. Traversing or searching can take O of n in the worst case because we might need to traverse the entire list to find or not find the item. We start from the head and keep visiting the next node until we find the node that we are looking for. And deletion is kind of similar to insertion. Deleting from the beginning is O of 1 because we just need to remove the head and update its reference. But in general if the item is somewhere in the middle or at the end then it's O of N because we have to traverse to the previous item of that node to remove that item. The most popular linked list question is to reverse a linked list which is the lead code 206 challenge. So given the head of a singly linked list, you need to reverse the list and return the reversed list. If you'd like to practice linked lists, this is a very good problem to begin with. To recap, linked lists are fundamental data structures with singly and doubly linked lists offering different advantages. Insertion at the beginning or at the end is O of 1. Insertion in the middle is O of N where N is the position to insert because it requires traversal from the head. Deletion at the beginning is O of 1, but at the end or in the middle is O of N because it again requires traversal to find the second or last node to remove. However, with doubly linked lists it can take O of 1 because you have direct access to the tail. Searching is O of N also, where N is the number of elements because we need to traverse from the head to the item. See you in the next video where we'll dive into queue data structures.